my mama call, see you on TV, son Said shit done changed ever since we was on I dreamed it all ever since I was young They said I won't be nothing, now they always say congratulations What's going on guys, it's me Brian Z here And today I am joined with Boise And uh, we will be doing a short description of what Oh, it's probably the sun's probably over there uh, a short description of what our major is, which is Global Studies and Maritime Affairs. So, right off the bat, we're going to kick into it. I need to stop turning around. And, um, yeah, so this is going to be what a GSMA major is here at Cal Maritime. What's up, guys? My name is Boise. You might have seen me before in a couple other of uh, It's Me, Brian D videos. Uh, today, I am going to briefly talk about the... Global Studies and International Maritime Affairs. So currently as of now, I am a senior at the Academy. So it is my last year, thank God. I don't have to stick around much longer. But in terms of what the major is, it is, uh, if you think of any political science major and you simplify that and you make it, every, like everything about it, maritime policy. So that includes laws, you know, acts, pol uh, of course, like I said, policies, and then, um, and then it'll it'll branch off into a wide variety of subjects such as security, environmental issues. You have uh, foreign policy issues that apply to it as well, and uh, historical, as uh, which you would learn over the course of your time here. So, in terms of classes that you'll be taking. GSMA is the smallest major on campus, but that doesn't mean there's a plethora of classes you won't be taking. So just to name off a few, uh, there's Ocean Politics, which is one of the first major required courses that you take when you arrive here. It's taken during your freshman year, and I, from what I remember, it briefly goes over uh, the basics of ocean politics, like just as the name says, right? So that's the Jones Act, uh, that's going to be IMO, the International Maritime Organization, the World Trade Organization, so it's going to be a brief overview of organizations that are in place now and how they affect the maritime atmosphere, right? So secondary, uh, second, a class that you would be taking, let's see, one of the uh, major electives actually is Maritime Southeast Asia. Now that, I think that's a pretty awesome class. That class goes over the maritime disputes, maritime policies, and laws of the Southeast Asian region. So you'd be learning about Thailand, the Philippines, China, Vietnam, Cambodia. Well, maybe not Cambodia, but <laughs> all those countries in that region. The current maritime disputes, such as the Spratly Island disputes, freaking the uh, the islands that China are are making to expand their EEZ or their their exclusive economic zones um, I think that is a very interesting class to take so third third class that you would probably go through here hold on it's maritime security now maritime security is taken during your junior year and it's probably one of the harder classes that you'll take um, for me personally it was an online class that is given on campus. Now that class goes over all the maritime aspects that involve security, so basically against piracy, against environmental threats, um, as well as ship security, So, which is a very lucrative thing when it comes to the maritime world. Uh, but that class is, I'd say it's, it's worth the effort because it really sheds some light on what you can do in terms of like outside of the school for this major and in, in terms of jobs so lastly one last class I think that um, would be worth something I guess it's a class I'm taking right now I should have taken it my junior year but I didn't get it uh, so US foreign policy is very interesting class in terms of of course as the name suggests it goes over the foreign policies of the United States so that includes the uh, the points outlined by the president, current and past presidents, of what their security policies were, how they wanted to tackle those, and what they did, right? You'd go over, uh, I guess, I'm not the best at explaining these things, but 
overall in general, it's not supposed to be in-depth, but you can probably look it up online, generic definition of US foreign policy and get a grasp of what that is. You put that into mind, you multiply it by like freaking 10, that's what the class is. One. So if you're curious about what skills you'll gain from basically uh, attempting this major, this GSMA is very writing intensive. I couldn't tell you how many essays I've written over the past almost four years. Uh, I'm in the middle of writing a 40 page thesis as we speak. <laughs> so that's the situation. Anyways, I think the most important skill you gain is becoming a better writer. Therefore, when you get out of here and whatever job you have that's relatable to global studies, you more than likely will be writing professionally in a sense. So either be publishing security documents or reports or anything along those lines for any company you might be working for. Secondly, uh, you do give a lot of presentations throughout your time in this major. Um, whether they're short or long, three minutes long, ten minutes long, or the entirety of the class, which I have yet to do, it really helps you boost your self-confidence and your public speaking skills, which is something that you're going to be doing, say, if you're working for a shipping company and you have to give a report on the, say, the um, how to improve security measures on a ship or a certain class of ship or you know, provide non-lethal weapons that could be utilized on a ship without having to be thrown overboard in a port because they don't allow actual weapons, uh, things along those lines. So many of you might be wondering, uh, if you came here and your major was Global Studies and International Maritime Affairs, would you graduate in four years? Now honestly I can say yes you would, mainly because our major is not the most demanding of the majors. Um, as you can tell, I said earlier, it's my fourth year, this is the last year. So I'm graduating after this point. Now, that is not really not the case for the engineering majors, such as ME or any of the licensing majors. Say, I've heard that if you failed one class within that curriculum, you automatically get thrown back a year because uh, you have to make that up in some, some kind of way. But there is, there schedules and their curriculums are more demanding but for us it's pretty straightforward simple as long as you follow the guidelines that are in the curriculum you take all the classes you don't fail anything which is really hard to do um, you'll definitely graduate in four years big question what jobs would you get coming out of this major um, a lot of them pertain to what you've learned so you could work in environmental policy or environmental law uh, for Noah, um, you could go into lawmaking, uh, developing new policies. There are security routes. You could work for the government in terms of the FBI or the CIA. Now, I don't know that how that works all that well. Um, and if you come here and you, you go through that major, you definitely will learn if that's something you want to do. You take the time to figure it out, right? Uh, I think biggest thing for me is uh, there's a military option a lot of GSMA majors pursue military careers whether in the Marine Corps or the Navy well like I was saying a lot of GSMA majors pursue military careers and as you know literally all four of us that make up or all three of us that make up his core friends group of friends are joining the military yeah, man! Sorry, I had to. You're gonna have to cut that out. Yeah, no, I'm good. Anyways, it's not the only option. You actually have a lot of options uh, open to you. They start showing themselves when you are a junior and a senior. Now, the other majors kind of get an earlier start on things because this school is still way, way more oriented towards the engineering and deck departments. All right, we're still kind of uh, neglected, I, I think I would say since the program is only 10 years old so hey that's all I got for you but you can certainly put down in the comments or email Brian about any questions about the GSMA major in terms of the percentage of GSMA majors that get jobs after school I'd have to guess it's between 80 to 90 percent I 
really not sure about that because I've already got a job. <laughs> it's in the Marine Corps, right? So I don't have to worry about that like my peers probably have to do if they're not in the same program as me. But yeah, that is uh, a brief overview of what Global Studies is all about and such. So if you do have any more questions at all, comment them below. I'll be happy to answer them or Brian or Daniel or Scott even. So thanks for your time. Well guys, that is the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. That was our brief description of what Global Studies and Maritime Affairs major is. Yeah. Um, I hope hey, eh, eh. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. Again, hit that like and subscribe button for more. And uh, I'll catch you guys next time.